Watch this. Watch how real he becomes. Look at his shirt. Look at his shirt. Detail. Ready? The face is going to blow you away. Look All at right, that. so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate my entire process for using AI to create images for ads. And for this particular client that I'm working uh, on this for, he runs a company that sells a roof rejuvenation product to people who are looking to start their own business. And basically he offers them franchise um, offers, you know, so they can start their own franchise. They can become a franchisee of this company, sell the product, build a business out of it and all that cool stuff. So we need images. Uh, there just aren't that many and um, that he can provide. So I'm going to make some. So one of the ad angles that we're taking is like, you know, get, you know, become financially free, become financially uh, independent and successful and, you know, harness your financial freedom. Uh, and it's really geared toward, toward like men who are looking to run a successful business or roofers or power washers or other businesses that might be able to add this service and product into their existing business. So an, an additional revenue stream. But one of the image ideas that I have for the ads to test out is just a happy looking man who is experiencing life uh, now that he has either this successful business or additional income as a result of uh, bolting this onto his existing business. So I want to create images that look real, uh, but maybe even some that are abstract and more artistic um, using AI. And I'm gonna come. I'm gonna show you my whole workflow. So this is not just a simple video where I'm showing you how to make an image using ChatGPT. I'm only using ChatGPT to create the the image, the text to image prompt, and then I'm gonna use a another uh, image generator, a text to image generator that I like, and then I'm gonna upscale it using another piece of software, and then it'll look really cool. Okay, so. Uh, let's just jump right into it. The first thing I want to do is I want to create the the, Im the text to image prompt. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT what it is that I want to accomplish. And then ChatGPT is hopefully going to give me a great text to image prompt to use. So let me just, I'm just going to start typing and you're going to watch me do that. And let's just do it. Okay, so the prompt says, I am in need of an image for an ad on Facebook. The image should be of a man in his 40s who looks happy. He's happy He's happy because he now owns a successful business. The type of business he owns is a roof rejuvenation business. Please create a text to image prompt for this so I can use it in some text to image software that I like using. Now, we're gonna see if this image prompt, text to image prompt, does what we wanted to do in the software that I like using. And the software I like using is this getimg.ai, right? So we're going to, it's it's set on flux, so you know, get this text image software if you don't have it, just get a membership and you'll be able to use it. And then I'm just going to paste the image prompt in here. Let me make myself a little bit smaller so you can see. 
And then I wanted to create three images just so I can get an idea of what it is creating. And I want the aspect ratio to be nine by 16, okay? Because I want it to be, look good in an ad and I like nine by 16 because of the way that I do ads on Facebook. I do basically Facebook feeds, it, it, Facebook and Instagram feeds, Facebook and Instagram stories and Facebook and Instagram reels. And if you do a nine by 16, you know, iPhone size portrait size uh, video um, uh, piece of creative or content, then it'll pretty much fit really well in all of those placements. So I'm then gonna I'm then gonna click create three images and I'm gonna see what it creates. Now this may or may not look good right from the start, right? So I don't like this one has writing on it. Um, these are kind of cool, you know, like I think he looks a little bit older than I'd prefer for this, but maybe that would work for some of the guys that this ad reaches. So I like this one and this one. I think I like this one a little bit better because he looks a little bit younger. Um, so I'm going I'm going to look at it a little bit closer. Now you can tell it's an AI image. You can see how smooth and like perfect it looks. It definitely looks AI. You know, if, if we zoom in here, you can tell this is not that high quality, right? What if we want to make it high quality? Well, this is the upscaling that I'm gonna show you and it's really amazing how well it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna download it as a PNG. That's a little bit of a better quality file. And then I'm gonna go into this other software here called Magnific AI. Guys, if you haven't already liked this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, tell me what you wanna see next. Back to the video. And I'm going to uh, choose Magnific Upscaler here and I'm gonna click upload and I'm gonna choose the image, right? Here it is. And I'm gonna enter it in there. I want it to upscale it four times and I wanna optimize it for films and photography. And then I'm gonna paste in the same exact prompt that I used to generate the image and I'm gonna paste that into the prompt. And then I'm gonna choose for the engine, I'm gonna choose Magnific Sparkle. Okay, and then I'm gonna click upscale. I want you to watch. Now this is gonna take a minute, so, but I want you to just look, like look at the quality of it here. Look at it here, okay? And then it's gonna upscale it over here and it's gonna be just unbelievably <laughs> different and better. So I want to tell ChatGPT, while this is generating, I wanna say thanks, now make him look like he's in his 30s okay I could have just replaced that but here we are here's the new prompt so let's let's update the prompt in the AI generator and see what it produces paste over that and click generate it's going to generate a bit of a younger guy. This one looks good. I, I really like this one. This one, he's holding two different things here. It looks kind of funky, but this one looks good. He's given a thumbs up. Let's make sure he has the right number of fingers. AI can really mess that up sometimes. So again, smooth that you can tell it's AI. What if you want to make it look real? We're going to do that. I'm going to download this one as a PNG. It's still generating the PNG. I'm going to give it a minute. Let's go over to Magnific hasn't finished yet uh, so let's download this it's still creating the PNG file it doesn't really matter you could use a JPEG it's fine uh, so I'll just download the JPEG and um, go back over here I'll replace the prompt I'll replace the image with the new guy and these are all on the right settings and I'll click upscale so it'll be loading that one now look this one's done now I, I want you to look it actually lets you swipe over to see the difference in picture. I want you to look at how real this guy becomes as a result of this upscaler. It is absolutely fascinating. Ready? Watch this. Watch how real he becomes. Look at his shirt. Look at his shirt detail. Ready? The face is going to blow you away. Look at this. Unbelievable. This looks like a real photo. You can see the 
you could see his skin pores. I mean, that is that wild? That is so wild. Look at this. Unbelievable. So now we have what appears to be a real image of a real guy. Look at his hand. Look at this. Look at the hair. You could see the hair on his arm. Unbelievably amazing. So now we have this image here, and we're going to download it. We're going to download the PNG. And there we go. Okay, so that's going to be, a, you know, this is going to be a good picture to use in an ad. It's going to be great, right? And that now let's look at this guy. Look at this. Look at his arm. Ready? Look at that. Is that wild? That is so, I think, I just think that is so freaking cool. I mean, that is just unbelievable. Look at his face. Ready? Watch. Let's zoom in a lot. So cool. Ready? Watch. Look at this. Is that unbelievable? That is just unreal. So, there you go. That's that. Um, phenomenal. So, that's how to do it. I'm going to download this and use it in an ad. So, that's that, guys. That's how I create image, text to image prompts that work well. And then that's how I create the images and then how I upscale them to make them look real. And then I've got like an endless supply of really high quality creative that I can use for my clients um, or for myself, for my own ads. Just unbelievable. So do this. It'll really help you out. And uh, that's it. See you later.